John Dillon here from visualbroccoli.com with another tutorial. In this session, we're going to talk about how you can take an image, photograph, whatever, and make it semi-transparent or transparent. Very simple to do, not as intuitive as you think it would be if you just started to do this on your own. Let me show you what we're going to accomplish. I'm going to go ahead and take an image. So in this case, I want to go ahead and take this image and make it into a watermark. In fact, I want to add a slight blur to it. Now, you'd think this would be pretty simple in PowerPoint. Well, it's not. It's simple to do once you know how to do it. So I'm going to hit Escape. And I have a, uh, my image here. And what I'm going to do is just make it just a little bit smaller. I'm going to right click on this image and copy it. Now, if I right select here and you think go down to format picture, you think, oh, you know what? Format picture, there's got to be a way in here to make it transparent. And if you go to fill, there's nothing. You can add effects and stuff to this image, but you cannot drop the transparency. So the way around that is to go to shapes, click on the rectangle tool, and I'm going to come down here, make a perfect rectangle by holding down the shift key as I draw my rectangle. Now, in the rectangle or the format shape of the rectangle, I can under fill affect the transparency. And we're going to use that. Now I'm also going to go to the line color here temporarily and turn off the line color. So say no line. Let's go back to fill. Now I'm going to choose is picture or texture fill. And it's going to grab kind of the default. Now what I can do is go to file and either navigate to the photo or image I want to bring in. Or in this case, it's already sitting on my, my slide, so I'm just going to copy from clipboard. And there it is. And it's applied it and gotten rid of the, the box. But it's essentially using the box, which is what's going to allow us to make it transparent. Okay, so you can see I've made that transparent. Now, one other thing we're going to do, or as we like to say, wait, there's more. I'm going to go ahead, go to Artistic Effects, go down here, and look for Blur which is going to be right there. And now what I can do is add a slight blur. So this would be a perfect watermark. In fact, I can even adjust how much I want it to blur by fooling around with the radius or handling this bar back and forth. That's it. All done. Now if I just bring this into my slide master, put it, apply it to every slide. Now every time I create a slide, I have this beautiful watermark. Well, that's about the time we have here for this particular lesson. As always, any questions or comments, shoot them our way. But until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentations more editable for your audience. Take care. <music>